Box jellyfish. Imagine you're taking a leisurely swim in the crystal clear waters of the Indo-Pacific, feeling gentle waves touch against your skin. Suddenly, you've been hit with a sting so intense it feels like you've been slapped by a lightning bolt wrapped in barbed wire. This is the box jellyfish's idea of a handshake, being one of the ocean's most notorious residents. The creature might look like an innocent, transparent cube floating in the water, but do not be fooled by its looks. They have up to 60 tentacles, each capable of of stretching out to 10 feet long, making them underwater tripwires. The tentacles are loaded with a toxin so painful it'll force you to swim to the nearest hospital. Box jellyfish venom attacks the heart, nervous system, and skin cells all at the same time. It's like getting punched, electrocuted, and sunburned simultaneously. Victims often suffer from severe pain, difficulty in breathing, and sometimes even cardiac arrest. Even after treatment, you'll be left with a painful rash lasting for many weeks. Some species of box jellyfish produce enough venom to kill 60 human beings in a single sting. It seems as though they could wipe out an entire small village within seconds. However, these tentacled beasts are not known to be aggressive toward humans unless provoked. They mostly use their powerful venom to kill small fish and shrimp, which they then reel in with their long tentacles to eat. Think of them as nature's most skilled fishermen, experts in catching their prey. Stonefish. You might mistake this creature for just another rock, but stepping on it would be like seven setting off a marine landmine. You just signed yourself up for a world of pain by stepping on a stonefish, which is one of the most venomous fish on the planet. The stonefish is the ultimate hide-and-seek champion, blending perfectly into the seafloor such that even the most seasoned scuba divers mistake it for a lump of coral. It simply stays in place like a rock, waiting for unsuspecting fish to pass by. As soon as they get close enough, the stonefish uses its powerful jaws to suck them in like a vacuum cleaner on turbo mode. It has 13 venomous spines along its back that are like nature's version of a booby trap. When threatened or stepped on, the spines release a potent venom that causes excruciating pain, severe bloating, and even paralysis. The venom can cause tissue death in humans, and if not treated quickly with antivenom, might also cause literal death. Stonefish usually live on coral or rocky reefs, but they're not too picky. They'll sometimes be found just chilling in the mud or sand, so you need to be extra careful whenever you're in stonefish territory, or you might end up regretting that relaxing day at the beach. Blue Ringed Octopus you go in for a quick dive and notice a majestic, brightly colored miniature octopus. It's almost as if it's just a toy and not a real animal. You playfully pick it up, and the next thing you know, you wake up on a hospital bed three days later, wondering what just happened. Well, you tried to steal one of the ocean's deadliest jewels. The blue ringed octopus is tiny, no bigger than a golf ball, known for its mesmerizing blue and black rings, which glow like neon lights when it feels threatened. It's like a living disco ball, but with a lethal twist. The little critter looks so harmless, you might even want to touch it. But that's where the danger lies, because a single bite from a blue ringed octopus can deliver enough venom to kill 26 adult humans, making it incredibly toxic, even more than your ex. Its venom is a powerful neurotoxin that is about a thousand times more potent than cyanide. And the best part? There's no known antidote, so your best bet would be to call emergency services and keep your fingers crossed. It's like you're playing Russian roulette with all all chambers loaded. What's even scarier is that the bite is often painless, so you might not even realize you've been bitten until the symptoms start to set in. Numbness, difficulty breathing, and eventually paralysis. It's like your body playing a terrifying game of freeze tag with your own nervous system. Goliath Tigerfish the Goliath tigerfish looks like someone combined a piranha with a sea monster and left it in the Congo River to haunt the local populace. The fish is so dangerous that the locals believe that it is haunted by an evil spirit, which causes it to attack people like it has a vendetta against them. Reaching up to 5 feet in length and weighing over 110 pounds, the Goliath tigerfish is the aquatic equivalent of a grizzly bear with a bad attitude. Its most menacing feature is probably the set of 32 razor-sharp teeth, each about an an inch long that make it look like the fish version of a chainsaw. Besides the dangerous looks, the Goliath tigerfish is a highly aggressive predator known for its lightning-fast attacks. And it doesn't just nibble on small fish and birds, the massive predator is known to attack crocodiles as well. Talk about punching above your weight class. It is also one of the only fish in Africa that has been recorded to attack humans. Their attacks are quick and cause painful lacerations on impact, which would need immediate medical attention. The fish has gained somewhat of a 
bad reputation because of its hostile nature, but it doesn't really seem to care much about it. While most predatory fish would be content lurking in the shadows, the Goliath tigerfish is bold enough to attack anything in its path, making it a truly vicious specimen. It's basically the river's resident bully, and it's not planning on retiring anytime soon. Stingray Let's say you were casually swimming in some shallow waters when the sand below your feet started moving to reveal a big pancake-like figure. You're now face to face with the ocean's very own stealth bomber, the Stingray. This flat, graceful creature glides through the water like it's on a mission that is blending perfectly with the seafloor. Despite their fearsome reputation, stingrays are usually pretty chill. They're more likely to flee than fight and just want to mind their own business. But if you accidentally step on one, it's like stepping on a high voltage wire, only this one has a venomous barb attached. The stingray's tail contains one or more sharp serrated spines that can deliver an excruciating sting. And it's not just the pain you have to worry about, it's the venom that comes along with it. It can cause intense swelling, muscle cramps, hypertension, and sometimes even paralysis. And if it's a particularly large creature, you might just instantly die due to severe trauma if the sting punctures a vital organ. Common stingrays can grow up to 8 feet in length and 5 feet in width, but you still won't be able to see them because they're usually just resting in the sand. So if you're ever swimming near the coast or exploring a coral reef, you should do the stingray shuffle, shuffling your feet in the sand to give any hidden rays a heads up. This way, both you and the stingray would be able to enjoy your beach day in peace. Barracuda With its sleek, torpedo-shaped body and a set of teeth that would make a shark jealous, the barracuda is the ocean's version of a hitman. It embodies the phrase, all bite, no bark. Barracudas are built for speed and power, like the ocean's muscle cars. Reaching speeds of up to 36 miles per hour, they're among the fastest fish around. And they don't just swim fast, they strike fast too. Barracudas are ambush predators, meaning they lie in wait until some unfortunate fish swims by. Then, faster than you can say, uh-oh, they lunge forward and slice through their prey with ease. Their mouth is filled with sharp, dagger-like teeth that are angled backward to efficiently grip and tear apart anything in their way. But what makes barracudas particularly dangerous to humans is their curiosity. They are attracted to shiny objects. So if you're snorkeling with jewelry or shiny gear, you might catch their attention in the worst way possible. Goonch Catfish Picture a fish as long as a human, weighing up to 200 pounds, with a body built like a tank and a face only a mother could love. The goonch is the type of fish that deserves its own horror movie. The goonch catfish is like the heavyweight champion of the catfish world and is usually found lurking in the fast-flowing rivers of India and Nepal. What makes the goonch dangerous isn't just its sheer size and speed, it's the fish's unconfirmed yet terrifying reputation. There have been unsettling rumors and reports of this fish dragging people underwater water, never to be seen again. While some reports might be exaggerated, the very idea of a large fish that could potentially hunt humans is enough to give anyone a pause before stepping into its territory. The catfish has an enormous mouth that's big enough to swallow a whole dog. It's an opportunistic predator that doesn't really discriminate much when it comes to food. Fish, mammals, crustaceans, and by some accounts, humans are all on the menu. Its massive mouth combined with powerful suction allows the goonch to engulf prey with a quick snap, much like a vacuum cleaner with a serious appetite. It also has an impressive camouflage game because of its brown and gray coloring, through which it can blend seamlessly into rocky riverbeds prowling for its prey. Whether they actually prey on humans or not, their size and strength demand that any encounter with a goonch is one to be cautious about. After all, when a fish can grow bigger than you and has the infamy of a river monster, it's probably best to stay out of its way. Nile Crocodile the Nile crocodile is the stuff of legends, and for good reason. If there's one creature that could claim the title of River King without any dispute, it's this. But its terror isn't limited to rivers only, as Nile crocodiles are known to check into coastal water from time to time. They are the ultimate survivalists, having been around for 200 million years. And they've seen it all. A big male can measure up to 21 feet and weigh 2,000 pounds, making them one of the most horrifying reptiles to exist today. Plus, they're built like 
like literal tanks with thick, scaly hides that can shrug off just about anything nature throws at them. These crocs love to ambush their prey, which means they'll lurk just beneath the water's surface until something tasty comes along, like a thirsty animal or a person. When the moment's right, they'll launch themselves out of the water with jaw-dropping speed and power, chomping down on their prey with a bite force that can exceed 2,700 pounds per square inch. That's like having a small car dropped on you. Things get even worse if you are unlucky enough to encounter these predators during mating season. Males will fiercely defend their stretches of riverbank, and any creature that tries to invade their space will essentially be eaten. Fire Coral Picture this, you're snorkeling in crystal clear waters, and the coral reef below looks like a beautiful underwater garden. You're just about to reach out and touch that bright orange-yellow coral, when suddenly it feels like your hand just got stung by a thousand angry bees. Well, you've just made friends with the fire coral, one of the ocean's most painful surprises. The fire coral might look like your average, innocent coral, but it's actually more closely related to jellyfish and other stinging creatures. This sneaky invertebrate is covered covered in hundreds of tiny hairs, which are basically like harpoons loaded with venom. As soon as you brush up against the coral, these hairs fire off their venom into your skin, delivering a sting that you'll never forget. The name fire isn't just for dramatic effect either. The sting will leave a burning sensation that can be felt for several hours. But depending upon your immune response, the pain can even last for days. Sometimes the sting can also cause inflamed welts and blisters, combined with a rash that will take weeks to heal. It's essentially the coral way of saying, hands off, buddy. In some rare cases, the venom can also lead to dizziness and breathing difficulties. But what you really need to be aware of is the coral's deceptive appearance. It comes in many different shapes and sizes, from branching tree-like structures to flat forms that blend in perfectly with the rest of the reef. So you might not even realize you're touching one until it's a bit too late and you're already screaming in pain. Crown of Thorn Starfish This starfish is the marine version of a sci-fi movie villain with all the looks and horror that go along with it. With its sharp spikes and massive body, the crown of thorn starfish, Kotz, will give demons like Pinhead a run for their money. The Kotz has hundreds of long, venomous spines that radiate from its body like a crown, hence the name. This is one of the largest starfish around, growing up to three feet in diameter. You might mistake it for an overgrown piece of sea decoration because of the way it sticks to rocks, but this is one star you definitely don't want on your Christmas tree. Each one of its spines acts like a needle dipped in an extreme toxin that causes intense swelling and pain, which can eventually lead to paralysis. And you'd be stupid to think that your wetsuit and gloves can save you from this marine stinger, as its spines can easily penetrate your gear, leaving you in agonizing pain that can last for hours. But the crown of thorn starfish isn't just a hazard for humans, it's also a notorious coral predator. This starfish has an appetite that would put competitive eaters to shame. It continuously eats the tiny, living organisms that make up reefs devouring vast swaths of coral, like an underwater Pac-Man. A single Kotz can devour vast swaths of coral, leaving behind a trail of bleached dead reefs in its wake. Triggerfish if you ever find yourself diving near a reef during a triggerfish's nesting season, you best hope to get out of there as soon as possible, unless you want to get harmed. These fish guard their territory with the vigilance of a security guard, and are extremely feisty when it comes to their eggs. One of the most noticeable features of the triggerfish is its sharp beak-like teeth, which are perfect for crunching through the hard shells of sea urchins, crabs, and other critters. But humans can also get a taste of their fury if they try to invade the triggerfish's personal space, and you definitely don't want to find out firsthand how strong their jaws are. Due to their aggressive nature, triggerfish have earned quite a bad reputation among divers. Even though for most of the year they remain docile if not provoked, they only attack you if they think you might be a threat to their kids. It's just good parenting from the fish's point of view if you think about it. And despite their explosive nature, they have a very important role in the ecosystem. They help to control the populations of urchins and other invertebrate that would otherwise overrun the reef. So triggerfish are basically tough territorial predators that are not afraid to let you know when you've overstayed your welcome.